What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? Chilling. This is where we do. I appreciate you taking the time out. Nah, no problem. No problem. So, you know, bless me with this. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're down to four schools: Alabama, Michigan, Oregon, and Texas Tech, uh, and you've already taken an official visit to each of those programs. So let's start with the Alabama visit. How did it go? It went well. Uh, um, you know, they really made me a priority. You know, Nate Oates, Coach Bryant. You know, they um, I had a great time out there, and you know, they showed me that I was important to their program, and you know, I could you know start up something, you know, or you know continue to win over there because they gonna have a good year this year, and um, you know, they got a good coaching staff and good players to you know win this year, so it's gonna be good. Definitely. And what would you say um, is it about Alabama that intrigues you? Um, as a as a possible college destination, definitely their playing style. You know they get up and after it. Um, you know on the defensive end and offensive end. Um, you know they always, you know have higher higher scores. You know always in the nineties and the hundreds. So you know I like to play in a fast paced offense. And um, you know they they have good coaching staff and um, you know good players that you know would complement my game over there. Definitely, and you mentioned um, you know, the coaching staff. What, what would you say your relationship is like with um, the head coach, Nate Oates? Because I know um, when he was at Buffalo, he was, you know, recruiting you. Um, and and uh, how often do you all talk? We talk a lot. We talk almost every day. Not every day, every other day. Um, we definitely have a good relationship. You know, they – out of the four schools, they have – they've been recruiting me the longest. And um, Coach Bryan is uh, really involved in the recruitment as well, so we have a good relationship. Gotcha. So, so no one is currently committed to Alabama yet for 2020, but you and Isaiah Jackson are probably their, their two biggest priorities. Have you spoken um, to Isaiah any about, um, you know, Alabama or um, gotten any insight to the program by talking to any of the current players on the team? Oh, for sure. I definitely talked to uh, Jaden Shackford, you know, Kyra Lewis. And Isaiah Jackson as well, you know, about teaming up, you know, uh, even though Kyra, you know, might have a good year and be out of there. But, um, you know, it's always a possibility. So, um, you know, you know, I always want to play with good players and have good players around me because ultimately that's how you win. So, um, you know, I hit him up and, you know, about the possibility of me going there and him going there as well. Gotcha. Gotcha. So let's talk about the, the Michigan visit next. How was that? It was definitely fun, you know, being around good guys. You know, I'm from the Midwest, from Chicago, so a little closer to home. You know, Jawan Howard always been good to me, knowing him since I was eight years old. So it was a good visit. Gosh, and you mentioned Jawan Howard. Obviously, he's their new head coach, uh, very well known, former Fab Five member, you know, NBA All Star, NBA champion, you know, former NBA coach, all that. And he's originally from Chicago, like you said as well. Um, how long have you known him, and is he kind of you know the main reason? Um, that Michigan uh, is on your list and you're considering them? Um, yeah, it's been eight or nine years since I've known him. You know, he's definitely a big reason why he's on my list, you know, someone that I can trust ultimately. Um, you know, in this recruitment, you always have to know people who you can trust, you know, because ultimately that's where you're going to find out where you're going to go. And, um, you know, he's definitely trustworthy and they have, you know, something good going over there. So definitely a possibility. How did you how did you get to know him and how how have you known him for that long? Um, okay, he started camps in Chicago. Okay. Um, you know, um, free camps and um, you know, uh, Miss Foster, who was really close to me and him, you know, got me in there and um, he I met him through Miss Foster in the camp and um, he was just he's just a great guy, you know, always giving back to the community. So it was good to meet him and you know carry this relationship on and now he's the head coach at the University of Michigan. Definitely, definitely. When you were younger, were you always, I don't want to like, you know, you know, boost you up too much. Have you have you always been better than most of the people you played with or did the a lot of the improvement come later, you would say? Um, a little bit of both. Like, I really improved, you know, throughout my sophomore and junior year, um, throughout my whole game. And, you know, it was – it was just, it wasn't that big of a gap when I was younger. You know, I just had a high IQ for the game. And um, you know, that's all I can say really about that. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. So as you know, Michigan, they've already landed uh five stars there, Todd. Yes, um, you know, under John Howard. Um, did his commitment spark your interest even more so about the school? 
Oh, for sure. Because like I said earlier, you know, I love to play with good players. And, you know, Isaiah Ty is, you know, top 10 player in, the, in this class. And, um, you know, very versatile, can do it on both ends of the floor. So he's definitely, you know, someone that I would like to play with. Cool, cool. So one of, you know, uh, Coach Howard's recruiting pitches is for the committed guys to kind of go out and recruit other guys as well, like he did, because um, he was the first member of the Fab Five as well. Um, mm -hmm. So my question is, has Isaiah Todd been doing his part um, been, and been talking to you and trying to recruit you to come to Michigan as well? No, I, he would, he hasn't been recruiting me. It's more been Zeb. You know, okay. I know Zeb a little longer, and, you know, we already had a relationship because, you know, he was about to come to prolific before he went to Mount Verde. So, um, you know, he's definitely been, you know, pitching me and um, telling me to come over there and join him. Gotcha, gotcha. So several other guys are also considering Michigan. Josh Christopher, um, Hunter Dickinson, Jace Howard, Moses Moody. Um, have it, have you ever talked to any of those guys about Michigan, um, you know, and, you know, kind of got to see how guys feel about the school? Oh, for sure. I, I talked to Hunter about it, you know, Jace about it, uh, Moses about it a little bit as well. You know, we always talk about teaming up because, you know, like I said earlier, but, um, you know, definitely good players I would like to play with, you know, playing against them on the circuit and, you know, seeing their tendencies and, you know, how I can, um, be good with them on the floor and, you know, score off them and, you know, make plays with them. So um, it's definitely, you know, I've definitely been talking to, to them about it. Would you say it's very common for, um, like, if you're close with certain other top guys in the class, for them to, like, you know, have a conversation with, you know, like, let's just give an example, Jalen, since he's your teammate, like, mm -hmm. can he, like, kind of open up with you and, like, know that you keep certain things confidential about you know, this is how I feel about Memphis, this is how I feel about Auburn, for example. Or would you say, you know, guys are still kind of like, I don't really want to know, I don't really want to tell them just because, you know, like you have a relationship with Oregon staff. If they ask you, like, how's Jalen feel about us? Like, you don't want to lie to them, but you don't want to, like, be like, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he really likes y'all. You know, y'all are number one on his list right now. And then him not even go, for example. So how does that kind of work? Um, You know, we definitely keep each other's secrets, you know, and what we want to tell and don't want to tell. You know, we definitely talk about that. And, um, you, know, you know, a lot of people, you know, that was just an example. And um, you definitely want to open up to people and get an idea for, for their recruitment and give them an idea for your recruitment, you know, because, you know, it would be good to know that. So, um, you know, that's definitely interesting. You know, I've definitely talked to other players about teaming up. You know, it's just fun playing with other players. It's fun winning, so that's, that's always a good thing. Gotcha. Did you have any idea um, that Scotty Barnes was going to Florida State? I think that was a very shocking recruitment considering the crystal ball being mostly Oregon. Did that surprise you, or did he kind of like oh, – yeah. He's like, hey, man, just so you know, like, you know, I'm going to be doing this. Yeah, I didn't know at all. It was definitely a shock. I woke up that morning, like, surprised. I was thinking it was mostly Oregon as well, you know, so – Definitely was a surprise to me and many others. Yeah, definitely me as well. So now the uh, Oregon visit. How did how did that go in? What is it about Oregon um, that intrigued you? It's just a beautiful place. Um, you know, the facilities are top notch, and you know the culture over there. You know, the coaching staff. You know, all the history over there. So they definitely have everything going up, and you know, a lot of success over there. So it's it's always good to be a part of that. Gotcha. And then, of course, Nike's headquarters is in Oregon, so they definitely get exactly. the, best, of money of the best stuff in the world. So that's always cool. Um, and one of your former AAU teammates and friends, Addison Patterson, he's going to be a freshman at Oregon this year. Has he been recruiting you and, and kind of talking to you about Oregon as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I, I definitely get some insight from him. And, you know, we always keep it real with each other, which, you know, is good, you know, and it's, it, it lets you know if you should come over there or not. And he's definitely been talking to me and it's been positive about the school and also CJ Walker a little bit when I was there. So it was it was definitely good to, you know, hear their insight about Oregon. Definitely. And then we talked about Jalen um, earlier. He's also considering Oregon, of course. Um, have you all talked about, you know, possibility of, you know, going to college together and, and playing at Oregon? Oh, for sure. You know, you know, we already planned together here prolific prep so it, it would be seamless to go in and 
you know, played at college together. So um, we definitely talked about it, and um, it's definitely a possibility. Um, it would be very fun to play with him in college. Yeah, absolutely. And then your Texas Tech visit, how did it go? Oh, that went well. Um, you know, Coach Beard and Coach Urich and the staff, you know, good people around there and, you know, good culture as well. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, speaking of their, they've had, you know, great success the past two years there. Is that one of the kind of main components you would say is why they're so um, high on your list considering the success? And obviously you said you, you want to win in college. so For sure. Yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, a, a good program over there. Um, you know, all the winning also plays a factor in my recruitment, you know, because I, I like to win and, you know, be around guys who like to win as well, you know, because that makes you better um, mentally and physically and, you know, gets you prepared. So it's definitely, it was definitely a good visit and uh, had a good time out there. Gotcha. And then Texas Tech, they've already gotten, gotten a commitment um, for 2020, but I'm not even going to say his name because yeah. um, I don't want to mispronounce it. But has he talked to you and have you talked to Micah Peavy, um, he's all, who is also heavily considering Texas Tech as well? I haven't talked to Chibuzo about it, the uh, commit. But I have talked to Michael Peavy about it a little bit, you know, uh, picking his brain about it a little bit and, um, you know, talking to him, you know, see if he feels it. So um, definitely been talking to Michael a little bit. Okay, cool, cool. So like I mentioned um, before, you've taken official visits to all the schools on your list. Do you think you'll take any unofficials just to see a school again, or do you think um, that you're done with visits completely? I'm definitely done with visits. Um, you know, now it's time to focus on the season, you know, hopefully make my decision as soon as possible. Okay, gotcha. And I think if you did take, you know, like an, a random unofficial to a school in your list, I think uh, I think you would see crystal balls start filing in because obviously, you know, it would pretty much be a dead giveaway to all the other schools if you, like, make another special trip. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a smart decision. Yeah, but for sure. So you said that you want to make your college decision sometime before your birthday, which is on the on December 20th. Um, and you also said the earliest it would be would be the beginning of December. Um, so with that being said, what's kind of going through your mind um, and what all are you like, you know, what are your priorities when deciding on the school and what else do you uh, need to figure out before you make your decision? Um, definitely a good coach staff plays a part. You know, guys who want to win, a great culture, um, you know, just, you know, having fun and balancing out basketball and life and, you know, preparing me to be a young man because ultimately I'm going to go in the world real world soon and um you know i have to be prepared and ready for it all so you know part of that is you know with my parents but um you know part of that is in college as well because that's the next step so um that's basically what all goes into my recruitment gotcha gotcha all right man well, i appreciate your time good luck tonight um in the game and good luck with the rest of the recruiting process no problem thank you appreciate all right, man, it thank you yes sir